Uh, what tools and techniques do you use to shade your ink drawings so they look like watercolor paintings? Um, that technique is called ink washing, BT dubs. So um, I will be the first to confess I do not do this technique because I, I mean, personally, very much, I've experimented very little with it because it's just, uh, I, this is not something I've really done. I don't have that, that type of artistic bent. But you see a lot of this work, especially in our Monday matchups, but in various other like ink reviews and stuff like that, um, that our team does because especially our, our media team and a couple other folks in our company um, really have a good artistic eye and have been experimenting a lot with this stuff. So ink, wa ink washing basically is, you know, fountain pen ink is very, um, very concentrated, you know, dye and water basically. So what you can do is when you put the ink down on the page, you can use basically a brush, an art, an art brush uh, with water, and then you can just basically kind of paint out uh, over the line or paint you know, from the line starting out and kind of pull the colors out of it. Um, certain inks work better than others, usually highly saturated ink colors like Private Reserve, a lot of noodlers and things like that. Um, and then uh, use those in combination with other inks that are very, very, um, you know, uh, waterproof. So like Platinum Carbon Black is very popular. The Diatramentus Document inks very popular because those, you can draw the line, they'll stay on the page. You can wash over them with other colors that are not waterproof and you can pull some interesting colors. So that's the basic technique. Uh, but essentially I asked my team, you know, what do you, what do you all use? Because I don't, I don't really do much of it. Um, but they use a brush pen. So, um, you know, a brush pen such as the Noodler's Conrad brush pen um, is a decent one. There's some other ones, Platinum has some good ones. But basically the concept is you use a brush pen. It's got a, you know, nylon bristle tip or some of the Platinum ones have like weasel hair and some other things. That doesn't particularly matter that much in this instance, but um, a brush tip as opposed to a fountain pen tip. Um, and then they fill the pen with water. And that's about it. So just the more water you have, the more diluted the color can get. Um, and then the brush tip just allows you to get some like, you know, good control and stuff that you have on there. But you can, if you have any just, you know, art brushes like this laying around your house, you can try it with this. Um, you don't get as much control with this because, it, you know, you basically get it really wet and then it kind of dries out quickly. This, you get more of a continuous flow of water, so it works a little better. Um, but uh, you can use an art brush like like so just to just to try it out if you have one handy or if you're at an art store they're very inexpensive um, so you can you can just dip it in water and then kind of pull it out a little bit you'll be dipping a lot um, but that can at least give you kind of a proof of concept and you can maybe come up with your own techniques as far as how you do it um, but that's essentially it so um, you'll need to experiment as far as like what papers you do. You want a thicker paper, like a watercolor paper probably, um, which we don't really carry that here. Um, we end up just buying it from Target or an art store or something like that. Um, or, um, you know, and then, sorry, there's the paper aspect and then the ink aspect as well. So you'll want to experiment. If you have a bunch of inks already, just try using those and see how they work. And then, um, you know, there's all kinds of blogs and stuff out there about people that do this technique a little more. Really good blog that I can recommend for this type of techniques and stuff is um, Hudson Valley Sketches. Um, that's uh, Jamie Grossman. You know, we kind of go way back. Um, so you can check, uh, check out her blog and she's got all kinds of stuff on there. So definitely recommend that.